Loved that, that was amazing. We're on to Limerick now and then it's uh, chill out for a few hours and enjoy a well-known city. Just remembered, Karen's just said the coolest thing I think I've ever heard come out of her mouth. We were parked up at uh, Cahir Castle and a, a group of motorcyclists come in and they were all in their BMW uh, GS 1260s, whatever they were, all exactly the same, matching colours, matching helmets with all the sort of Celtic motorcycle tour stickers all over them, uh, where they've all come on and paid to go on a tour, which is amazing and wonderful, but she turned around and she said, ah, they're not proper motorcyclists, they've driven here and then hired bikes. And I thought that is just brilliant, that is absolutely priceless. And I love that. She's been back on the bike 18 months and she's taken the piss out of other people already. So contrary to popular belief, it actually isn't a long way to Tipperary, but it's a beautiful place when you get here. That's straight on, I'm just trying to keep an eye on the sat-nav as well. So this is Limerick, we made it. I was hoping to have some really witty Limerick ready for you, but unfortunately I tried really hard and my uh, creative skills have let me down yet again. So I've got nothing, but this is Limerick. We've done coast to coast. There may be some that say, well, Limerick isn't actually as the furthest uh, west. Well, no, it's not, but uh, I need to get over there. But we have done coast to coast. We landed on the east coast yesterday, and we are now on to the west coast today. food coma right now we've just had an amazing meal at uh, Hunter's Sports Bar in Limerick. Happy birthday David, one from Ireland for you. Happy birthday! Uh, eaten way too much as usual, I had half a Guinness however we've come outside and the weather is glorious. I don't want to keep going about the weather but it makes such a difference. Um, so now we are going to just take a leisurely ride back to uh, Waterford hopefully incorporating some great roads and great scenery at the same time that's the plan anyway uh, and then when we get back we're just gonna have a little walk around the B&B around the area see what it's like one thing I've got to point out and I, I've got to make a big thing of this is that I mean I've, I've done some traveling in my time we both have we've been to some amazing places um, Ireland has the most polite welcoming people I have ever ever come across I didn't know what to expect uh, you know being British and I know there's quite a bit of anti-British feeling um, understandably for a lot of things that have happened in the past um, but they are so friendly and they just out of nowhere will just um, you know s say good morning or how are you or, or, or whatever but just really really friendly I mean it sounds awful to say but even to the point where one of the beggars on the street was um, apologetic for bothering us when he, he asked for spare change you know I uh, said I'm really sorry to bother you afterwards but it, it was just the people here are so nice so nice so let's get on because the quicker we start moving, the quicker this food coma will pass. And I'll catch up with you a bit on the way round.
That was a long run. That was a long run. I don't know how long we've been riding. An hour and ten. Oh. Feels it, doesn't it? Yeah. It did that time, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Beautiful run. Yeah, it was. It was. I'll get petrol and then we'll have a break here for ten minutes. No, that's fine, thank you. Okay. Well, I think that's about it for today. Um, we've just come back from Limerick, just stopped for some fuel and uh, some food for tonight's tea. Uh, we're on our way back to Waterford now. We've had a fantastic day, we've eaten far too much in Limerick, but what a brilliant city that is. Um, that'll be it for today, because the battery's about to go on the GoPro, uh, and we'll start all over again tomorrow.